thing. We're gonna we're gonna go to, over to Europe and um, they come many in Europe. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, uh, the reason there's a bring, lot of them. The reason I bring that up is uh, you just posted. Uh, you just did a. Don't believe the hype. You you re you yeah, redid yeah. it, okay? Yeah. And it was a little visit to to Berlin. Mm -hmm. And somewhere nestled in the redo of this song was a little concert footage, just a little <laughs> moment of them on stage with three hundred thousand people. Was it like this ridiculous festival? It is a lot of people. You know, you get on a stage in front of that many people, especially yeah. in like South America, where it's you can't see the end of the crowd. And you get off stage and you just think, I think I'm a different person now. Like, it's a, that moment like that actually does change you. I'd get off stage and be like, I hope someone took a picture. <laughs> yeah, well, you, wouldn't you? You know, if you're oh, in an amazing moment. Yeah. Yes. Wouldn't that For be an amazing? Sure. I'm sure you guys do, actually, sometimes, right? Yeah. I we mean, do, do you get, uh, do, are you, do you have to rise to the moment of 300,000 people watching you? Or is it just another day at the office? It's odd because... Even now, if I get in front of 20 people, maybe like a classroom of people, still kind of get those j jitters. Just talking in front of that many people. Something happens, there's a threshold that's crossed at like 150, 200, where all of a sudden you feel comfortable. I've, because of the way our career's gone, playing shows in front of 100 people all the way up till, you know, 10,000 doing arenas, it's kind of all felt fine. And I feel like I belong up there. Right. Once you cross over into the 20s, 30s, hundreds of thousands, then you start to lose how you're even coming across. Like, is what I'm doing even being seen or heard correctly? Because you just that, that many eyes and ears. Yeah. And so it, it really becomes this thing where you have to just focus on what you've uh, rehearsed, what you're, re you know, am I ready for this? And if you prepare, then... And a lot of times you get off stage and you wonder, I don't even know if that went well. I, ca I can't even. Yeah, how do you know if you're connecting with right. people in the back? Especially if they don't speak your language. You know, you're trying what to What do they, do hi. they sing the words? In, well, they yeah. have to in English. Yeah. Does it have a weird accent with it? It does. You can kind of see, you can kind of hear the, the right. accent depending on where you are. <laughs> well, don't believe the hype. Yeah, the, the, the hype. hype yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I worry about, because in America, man. I get a little weirded out when I'm in a place with 10,000 people. How do you, as a person, go to the bathroom with 300,000 people? How do you feed yourself? How long do you, because a lot of these festivals, well, they Tyler go doesn't all, have to do that. They go all day. No, but don't you worry about that? There's 300,000 people that have to pee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. to eat. I would never want to, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe this is, but putting on an event of that size. Just with the weather, and because I, I, you know, I'm, I rub shoulders with the, the the promoters of those events, and the stuff that they have to worry about, what, even even coming into a, a country that they're not familiar with, trying to put on a big festival, um, but also all the way down to, do you have enough porta potties for this many people? That's legit. The flow of getting in and out, and don't say and, flow and porta potties <laughs> potties in the same sentence. The flow of into the porta potty and out of the porta potty. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I'd feel. Do people pass out at those events over there? They have yeah. to. Well, it depends on the country. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because some countries are like, listen, we're not passing out. <laughs> we'll play the hottest. What do you mean? I'm, I don't know what it is. We'll play the hottest, dingiest, like the toughest circumstances where, you know, these kids are gonna pass out, but they don't, and it's usually. Like South America, Mexico, Germany, uh, Russia, these places where they know we're, we're probably not coming back for a, for a while. You know, a, a, our tour like ours will maybe go in once or twice, maybe. And so they don't, they even though they're fans of all these artists, they don't see them very often. So when they feel like they're about to pass out, they just decide, no, I'm not going to pass out. <laughs> but then they're well, that's to win incredible it. will. And then you go into the nice, uh, you know, air-conditioned Madison Square Garden, and you know, you got people in the front row like, ah, my body's done. <laughs> and they'll they'll pass out from. Do you? I mean, you're performing, and you watch somebody pass out. Are you like confident that they'll be taken care of, or do you like? Should I do something about this? That Point? is a new skill that I've kind of had to learn, which is playing a song, singing it executing the song but also out of the corner of your eye watching someone kind of get in trouble whether or not they're okay and then you have to decide do i stop the show should right I, should I, have should you had I to do that me? yeah yeah no we stop the show all the time really yeah so you i say hey someone's got to help this I'll, guy. I'll, I'll just gosh the drummer and be like stop and we'll stop and I'll, I'll mention hey pull the lights up you know i got my my lighting guy shap i was like shap put the lights up we got someone in the pit wow and then josh and i'll kind of just step off stage 
and then they'll they'll figure it out. And some of these people really do need help. Like they need part the part the seas, get in there, maybe some some uh, medical in there. Wow, that's thing. crazy. But okay. then there's this whole other thing where some girl will be like, I don't feel well, and then everyone else is trying to be the good Samaritan, mm. and they start waving me down. And you're wondering why. <laughs> And there's a skill where it's like you watch to see how many pointed fingers there are. And if there's like, you know, 20 or 30 of them, you kind of have to pay attention. Like, who's pointing down at this person who needs help in this large crowd? But sometimes it, it gets out of hand. They're just excited that they got me to stop the show. Oh, geez. And then there's this whole other thing you have to decide whether or not it's legit or not. Okay, this is insanely interesting. Uh, more from Tyler Joseph in a moment. This is.